Well, today I'm with David. David, how long have you been using blues? For the past three years. So three years ago, who introduced you to these pills? Um, I would say a toxic individual. I mean, I don't think of him as my friend anymore. Uh, his name is Darian and, uh, you know, he just, I wouldn't say peer pressure got me into it, but I just really thought he was a trusted friend and turns out he wasn't. And um, how, how many years, is that how long you've been out here in the streets as well? Oh no, um, the past 20 days now. I've been out here. And does your family know you're out here? Yeah, I got kicked out because, uh, you know, my using and stuff. And they gave me chance after chance after chance, and I just kept on screwing it up. And so, have you thought about going to treatment? Have you been to treatment centers to uh, try to get help? I've been to at least seven, and nothing works. Uh, I had this therapist, you know, he was really helpful, but... My grandma didn't really recommend him for me, so I don't really know. Um, I try to do a outpatient medication, but you know, I don't like medication and outpatient wasn't really, a, just didn't really work. So I, I don't really know. I just, I don't really like them, I would say. Where did you sleep last night? Um, I slept in an alley. So tell me about the dangers of sleeping in an alley at your age. Um, at my age, uh, nothing really. Um, um, you know, friends of everybody. Um, just dangers is the cops. Um, the cops are gonna come, try to arrest you, try to uh, put you in juvie and uh, stuff like that. Really nothing goes on. I mean, you hear stuff that goes on, but you know, it only happens to the adults and stuff. Okay, so uh, the younger people are immune to it, it just doesn't happen uh, to you guys yet? Well, um, well, there's just the older, the adults, you know, we call them um, OGs and um, what's it called? Uh, they just, they respect us, so, and we respect them, so they kind of give us protection, I would say. We just, we just all worry about cops, you know? Got it. And um, if you weren't uh, out here in the streets doing these pills, what would you be doing right now at your age? Um, at my age, I would be going to school, I would be having a job, having my driver's license, uh, driving my own car, or saving up for my own car, um, stuff like that. Uh, that's pretty much it. Sports. Is that where you were doing, you had a passion for sports when you were younger? Uh, no, not really. I mean, I did track, but, you know, that's really pretty much it. And uh, what's the youngest person you've seen out here? Um, the youngest, uh, it doesn't go past, uh, 19. Okay, so you're the youngest? Yeah, I would say I'm the youngest, but, you know, I don't really venture out, so I don't really know if there are people younger than me. The youngest I've seen was 13, so that's a little bit younger than you. Oh, wow. Yeah, shocking, huh? It's very shocking. Um, yesterday I met a 16-year-old out here. Wow. Yeah, so there's, it's... It's one thing when somebody is, you know, 21, 23, you know, under, you know, in between uh, in their 20s. But, man, when you, you, you're still uh, uh, under 18, that's really tough, you know, because uh, it just, I, I, I don't, <clears throat> it's like you guys shouldn't be out here, you know? Yeah. Right? It's like something wrong with that. And so... It's just interesting to, to see the dynamics that caused you personally to be out here and how do we prevent that? Like, what advice would you give other young people, right? There's there's a 15 year old David's at home that are confused and lost. Uh, what, what, what advice would you give to them? Um, you know, stay in school, listen to your parents, uh, focus on, you know, coping skills, try to do um, things you enjoy in life. Don't, you know, stay by yourself a lot. Don't, uh, just try to find outlets like friends or hobbies and just don't, don't be alone all the time because when you're alone and stuff, it just, it creates and it makes you think about bad stuff. Has your life been tough these 17 years? Yeah, I would say, but I don't really, you know, focus on that too much past is the past you know you're trying to learn from it uh not entirely as i said the past is the past uh i mean a lot of crappy things happen to me in life but 
but focus on it because you know it's not important you know the present is important what does your future look like uh it looks very promising uh it's just you know at the moment you know i'm kind of out here and stuff but i kind of you know did that to myself because uh as i said my grandma gave me chance after chance after chance and i just kept on using in her home and when will your promising future start? Uh, In a year, six months? I would say um, in a year or two. Like I still need to get my bearings back in order and stuff. Like uh, I'm mentally okay. It's just uh, uh, something else is not okay. Like family tells me, you know, I have something broken inside, but I never really get it when they tell me that, so. What, um, I offered you Narcan, and uh, you said you don't need it. Uh, you've never OD'd before? No. Um, the, the hospital gave me Narcan. My grandma gave me Narcan. Not because I was OD'ing, because, you know, they thought I needed it. And it's the most crappiest feeling ever, you know, when you're not OD'ing and you get Narcan. And it just makes your body feel so sick and so uh, disgusting. I mean, I would get it if I was, you know, losing consciousness and uh, falling in and out or breathing heavily, but I wasn't doing any of those things. So somebody administered Narcan to you when you, de you didn't need it and it made you feel bad? Yeah, horrible. Okay. Um, <clears throat> every day, what's your goal every day? Every day? Um, just try to make some, uh, I know this might sound bad, but try to find people to social with, try to find people to socialize with, uh, you know, I don't really like to be alone because, you know, as I said, it creates problems. So I just try to find people out here and just become friends with them and see where the road takes me. Of course, I'm not trying to stay on this road for very long, um, but it's just at the moment, I don't know, uh, grandma doesn't want me back, uh, stuff like that. And police are, you know, on my tail, so it's just, yeah. Uh, there's been some burnt bridges with family and friends or what? Uh, no, uh, just me mostly, you know. My mental health wasn't good, so I would just burn, uh, you know, ghost them. Uh, ghosted my ex of three years because of drugs. And, you know, I ghosted, ton I ghosted all my friends because of drugs and stuff like that, you know. They don't burn bridges with me because I don't tell them anything, but I usually burn bridges with them. It seems like you've lost a lot these past three years. Yeah, you could say that. And um, why do you think these pills are so popular with the young people? Uh, I really do not know. Um, it's hard to say, to be honest. Because uh, it's new, because it's... Uh, I mean, there was this rapper, I don't know if you ever heard of Juice World. Um, he did them, you know, I'm, I'm not a follower, I'm not a sheep, I'm just saying that, you know, he did them and I was just like, oh, you know, they're cool, you know, a rapper is doing them on a daily, taking 20 of them, 40 of them, you know, look at him. But now he's dead, so. No more Juice World? No more Juice World. He OD'd from these or what? No, he was uh, getting off his private jet and he had over 80 pounds of weed and some guns and he was trying to uh, go to the hospital so he took uh, too much prescripted, uh, I don't know if it was lean or not, but uh, he kept on drinking it and then he had a seizure in the hospital and then he never woke up. Yeah, other people have mentioned that, that they're, it's glamorized. You know, this lifestyle is glamorized in music, oh, yeah. specifically uh, rap music. Oh, it's yeah. glamorized and talked about, you know, like it's made to seem like it's cool. But tell me, what, what's what's cool about being out here? Nothing, you know. Um, nothing's cool about being out here. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm very introverted, you know, because, you know, as I said, I ghosted all my friends. So, I mean, it's cool to, you know, talk to tons of people, talk to all these random people. And if they mess with me, I mess with them, you know, and it's kind of cool. But to me, it is. Because when I'm at home, you know, I don't, yeah, I really have anybody to talk to. David, I'm going to say thank you very much for uh, sharing your story. Um, a young person is going to watch your, your video and... 
gonna decide not to touch drugs, blues, or anything when offered because of you sharing your story. You should be proud of that, that you're gonna save somebody and your family should be proud of that, okay? All right. Because I get notified by parents all over the country that say, hey, thank you, I showed this video to my two uh, teens and that scared them. They're, they said they're gonna stay away from, from pills. Oh. So um, so I literally get told that on a regular basis. So that's why, that's why it's important for you to share this story. Uh, in the meantime, please stay safe. Please keep your head up. Um, you seem like an intelligent, uh, big hearted young man that's just lost and confused at the moment, but that doesn't mean that this has to be your future forever, oh, okay? Yeah. Right? So I believe in you, please believe in yourself. And uh, I want to say thank you. And I'm going to hand you my card All with right. my number on it. So you can call me if you ever need to write a treatment or somebody to talk to. Okay. Okay. And then uh, also there's a, a goodie bag, a blessing bag from one of my subscribers, a friend of mine. Her name is Shorty. Can, right. can you look in there just really quick to see if those are items you could use? Oh, yeah. These are all items I can use. A blanket, some, a washcloth, and... Um, um, a mask yeah these are all items i can use thank you there's also a little card in there can you pull out the card really quick and she if you could just read that card for her really quick yeah i got you first i want to say thank you for accepting this blessing bag my family and kelly help me make for you i only ask that you do me a favor say a prayer for me as i battle my struggles with depression anxiety and awful thoughts as well when you can please pay, pay it forward and bless someone by simply being a friend and helping someone in need. I hope these items help out a little. Be safe or please call Art to go to treatment. We really do care for you and are praying for you. Love, uh, Shorty. Awesome. David, thank you very much. Stay safe. God bless you, okay? Okay.